Hello everybody, it's Lina. Today I have the largest custom creation in history that's actually been completed on my turn table. This thing is heavy. Oh my gosh. It's kind of scary pulling it over to my table, which is just like five feet away from this turntable. But the new station is something I really like and it was a lot of fun to build. It was a quick build, but that's good for me because it allowed me to get on more to, to more stuff. It definitely isn't perfect. I got a lot of work to still do on it and if I continue to get more parts and ideas on how to improve it in the future, but for now, at least this is a start, and so I'm going to try to be very quick because I have a history for making building videos of buildings very long, try to get into right into this thing and right back out. So let's go ahead and let's get started on the exterior. Now, like I really moved the camera much, but whatever, we'll, we'll put a clip there. <laughs> clip fade, transition, all that fun stuff. The front here is, uh, it's inspired by actually my original, I was trying to go with something really modern and I realized that my old style I really like, my old station that I actually completed my 2015 version, I have one video up of that right now, I'll look at the cards if I think about it. And uh, I really just kind of went back to this, went to back to that, it's got flipped though, it's a little squished, a little elongated, also I changed the roof to set of a flat black to this angled red, that's something I really like, I'm going to try to build more of the roof like this in the future. In the front we got, it's a triple bay garage, you got your ram poles, you got lights, you got a fire logo. I know this is off, this is to save some slopes, and eventually I will right, correct that. It's driving me nuts. Eventually I probably will also raise this garage up because it's so low. This truck, these trucks barely clear, they, this, this truck barely clears, this thing barely clears. So I'm going to put one in here, they'll probably clear a little bit nicer. I still need to build the truck for this bay, but you'll get to see more of that when I get to the garage. The front here has kind of got some nice vegetation, I got a flag. This is the current flag I've been using for this squad, I might change that eventually. Got some banners, banner colors for the squad. Got an American flag, different stuff. You got your main lobby, of course. And I kind of went with this nice white brick. Oh, there's a bunch of one by twos. I don't know if you can see that. I think you can though. This kind of resolution you should be able to I'll take it up to 720, and that is dirty. Wow. Okay. Fine. Whatever. Uh, but it was a, it's been a it was a really fun build so far. So let me. Oh yeah. One last thing. This up here was a piece of artwork I had in my old building. I don't know if it's gonna stay here. It was a fun thing I just threw up there for now. Rotating this, the side is where I ran out of white, really, or didn't want to use any more white, transitioning to red. And then you can see I still have, I actually have to use a decent amount of translate blue windows. The only tra non translate blue windows are on the back here. These are trans clear, but that's just because I had these frames, didn't want to have them randomly sitting around, so I put them on the back of this. The brick continues into this area until it continues, this is panel though, and the brick continues on the red yellow stripe, but that's it. And all these are panels. This is These are sides are not meant to really be seen, so. I just kind of really made it so, you know, I still built walls though to keep dust out. Let's go, let's take a look, quick through, a nice look, and a quick look at the roof. So fine. The roof, weirdly enough, looks nicest from the back corner. In the back corner, the two sides don't look very good. Up here we have a helipad, we got door access from the second floor. I got some windows up here you can't see, but that's, you know, that is what it is. You got guarding, safety railing around the whole thing, and a separation railing in between kind of the more just standard emergency work, just so if we have patients up here that are sitting around, they don't go wandering off in the areas they're not supposed to. This is a little gate that opens up to allow access to the HVAC. Eventually, I need to put a ladder here, a small little short ladder to go up in this section of the roof. Also got the fire logo just back here, got to that out. and I got some lovely building techniques that it works. Got another HVAC unit up over here, providing just some extra cooling to the building. This is for the garage, mostly for the building. Communications tower module, you know, that way you can see communication. Of course, I got my helipad, and there's the back of the artwork, just so, so pretty. And this is the back side. <laughs> That's actually all two by bricks. That was just a quick way to seal on the roof, because I didn't know how I was going to do it. I thought I was going to do it all completely this, but I don't have enough of these parts at all. I need to have space for the helipad, so for now, oh yeah, this cover, it juts out. That's for my, uh, for my fire poles. I think that is pushing in. Okay, let me move to the interior, and I'll fix that door, because it's driving me nuts. I guess I can honestly point out the unique roof system that I used across this whole thing, as in, this section comes off on its own. This section comes up on its own, like so. And there's this section, which is just sitting in there. It's supposed to. As there's that door. Okay, I can fix this. What about this? At least my building's stable enough, I can fill full paper and that in. Of course, I got my big roof of my garage, which I can actually lift up with the whole house at the top. There, never mind, I can't. Okay, that failed. You didn't see anything. Woo. Okay, let's try this again. As I also collapsed the support in my garage. Thankfully, that's not a hard fix. Hopefully, I'm not blocking your view. Yeah, there's my pretty big roof. It's like, oh, that a camera. That's a smart idea. Yes, I go. Woo. Okay, also, I might want to take up the second floor to start with the first floor. This all this away. 
and this brick sometimes likes to come up, but that actually didn't go very far. Uh, I'm just gonna set that there now. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll set it behind me carefully. Got this! I do have this. I do got this. Alright, let me see if I can get closer though. I can definitely admit this was cutting it close to get this in frame, but I got it in frame, yes! Alright, so here's the interior of the first floor. It's a very open floor plan. We've got a small lobby up here with, you know, you got your help desk. Got a, it's a little trophy case, your staircase going up the second floor. I'll have to flip around to the garage side to show the details on the back side of this wall. It'll just be easier. Then there's a small kitchen area in here. it will probably flip this around again. But we got a chair. There's supposed to be kind of a cabinet. There's a table. These chairs are an interesting build, but they were a fun little thing that are, are really plain and simple. They do the job, and there's also a TV sitting up here. Your kitchen area, and there's another couch. Let me go ahead and I'll flip this around now so that we can actually see more details. Alright, here is some more of those details. Here we got a microwave sitting on top of a section of the counter, then there's a nice two door fridge, a range, or stove, whatever you want to call it. This actually has an open door if I carefully I have to push it down because the hot jumper comes out very easily, but it does open. That's a fun little feature I built in my previous station. Got some pans, a sink. This is the Ghostbusters kind of build, so it just sits in there. And that's very weak because of that. And there's a cupboard section along here. And there's some more there. You also got your couch over there. And I'm blocking it. I not okay. Okay. And over here, if I lower this down. Yeah, there we go. Oh man, bring it back up. Yeah, there we go. That's better. We got the equipment compartment. This is basically probably extra equipment that normally isn't on board, because most of my equipment's on board the vehicles already, so that'll be like an external stuff. We've got some tanks of different sorts for something, fire suppression, fire extinguishers. Well, let me just say fire extinguishers. Equipment rack, mostly for equi replacement equipment, and then got your fire pole. That's just attached in the uh, garage right off. And then there's a small medication cabinet here. There's the back of the stairs, and I guess you can kind of take a look at the front of the lobby. There's the desk in the front. A little plain. There is some drawers, though, on there on the other side. So, yeah, that's the first floor. Let me go ahead and put, oh yeah, the garage. I guess if you guys want to see that, probably do. It's not really anything else in there, but i got some trucks right now. And then this really normally sits back here, but I push it forward so it's more equipment. Yeah, maybe. There we go. So I gotta, I'm gonna think I'm gonna put a mid mount ladder here. So for now, that's at least what I have. I get to reach behind me again. I'll pull in the second floor. Hopefully this lands up decently. Hopefully if it doesn't. That suck. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Now, come on. Yeah. Just a second. Let me lock it down. It's kind of a touchy. I don't know why this thing doesn't fit perfectly. So I have to kind of be careful with it. All right, here's the second floor, and uh, you can't see anything. So let me re reposition it so you can see everything. You can almost see everything, but not everything. All right, well, we'll just have to work with this. <laughs> All right, so I got this is basically a small area where we got some beds. We're sleeping in light crew, six six people. I'll eventually put some nightstands and probably a couple of alarm clocks. These are lockers, personnel lockers, even though there's not enough of them. And there's actually nothing in the interior. There's no dividers at all. But I figured it was a cheap solution, easy solution. There's the restroom, which is really hard to see. Maybe I'll get close. Can't help. Maybe, maybe that probably easy to see most of these rooms. Uh, here's this is 911 dispatch. It's a small little area. Chief's office, which is very small, but it's meant to be kind of personal, just for kicks. And this is a uh, boardroom which has basically a table, it's very modern, probably should raise that up for realism. You got a whiteboard and there's a projector screen up here and it's very weak as you can tell. The uh, computer module for the projector, which is up here, and I really love this projector build. It's a very simple build, but it works out very nicely. Very, very pleasant, I'm surprised how it worked out. Let me just pull the camera off, we'll just do it that way. <laughs> yeah. Alright, there's that restroom. And of course I'm getting blocking all the light. Let me try something. I will... Yeah, that, that was a little better. Right, you got a little toilet in there, it's got a tan toilet seat, don't ask me why, it does. It does, and there's some toilet paper, <laughs> there's a sink, and there's even a plunger in the corner. I'm trying to be a plunger back over there. So, I'm gonna shut that door now. There's those lockers, again, I said, there's nothing inside. It is true. Yeah, maybe, maybe, there we go, yeah, see, even the wall. Uh, here's the dispatch office, carefully, office, bleh, bleh, bleh. carefully, yeah, you just got some different stuff in there. Door, really doesn't want more light if I open it up. The bed's very simple build. This is a, and of course there's the chief's office, it's got a little bit of a fancy desk and it's actually got drawers on it. And then here's the boardroom, I guess I could probably kind of spin that around, so you can kind of see some of the other stuff in there too. Alright, there you go. Uh, there's kind of also got the little thing, thing hanging down for the projector screen. So, uh, yeah, that's, oh yeah, this is a trophy case for another trophy. There's your fire pole, there's that door I fell off right there. So let me get this back together and we'll be done. Oh guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'm happy with how this turned out for the first time. 
this kind of new style, so I'm really happy about that. Of course, I'll be keeping on modding it and stuff in the future. I'll keep on modifying stuff and adding details and changing little things. But for now, um, hopefully that was a good enough in detailed review of a 10 to go way too detailed, so I think this was a good alternative. Uh, let me go ahead and you guys know what you guys think of this custom fire station. I gotta get back to work on more custom builds so I can keep on filming stuff, because I got plenty more to film. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned because more videos like this are on the way very soon. Bye for now.